and welcome to another video of Future Finds. So this video uh, we're going to do a 12 inch record. Uh, about, I've already done one video previously on a 12 inch record. So this time we're going to do, see if I can say her name right, Edie Gourmet. I just had to look at my notes to even remember because it doesn't say her last name on, on the record uh, itself. This one is Edie in Dixieland. So this is in the Lewis Cafe window and I'll uh, put up a picture on the video a little bit later. This is what the, re the, the record looks like. Now keep in mind, if you're going to get these, these have to be the 12 inch if you want to be screen accurate. So this is what the front of it looks like and this is what the back of it looks like. I'll see if I can get it a little bit up close. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, twelve songs on this record. This is Ed Edie in Dixieland. The twelve songs on side on side one. It's when the saints come marching in, way down yonder in New Orleans. Jada, Sleeping Time down south, Limehouse Blues, Basin Street Blues. On side two, it's Bill Bailey. Bye Bye Blues, South Rampart Street Parade, Lazy River, Mississippi Mud, and Wang Wang Blues. All of these songs are less than three minutes. Less than three minutes long. It looks like the longest one is Wang Wang Blues at two minutes and 50 seconds. The shortest one is right exactly at two minutes, Jada. Or Jada, J, Jada. It's J-A dash D-A. Uh, this came out, let's see if I can find a date on here real quick. I don't see a date. I'll have to get that date to you in just a second. Uh, I don't know what date is on here when this came out. But I have some notes. I'm just going to read these notes off real quick to you. Edie Gourmet, she was born in 1928. She was an American singer who performed solo as well with her husband, Steve Lawrence in popular ballads and swing. She earned numerous awards, including a Grammy and an Emmy. <clears throat> she retired in 2009 as she passed away in 2013. Her, the, jo the genre that she played is bolero, Latin pop, big band, swing, and traditional pop. She made her uh, professional recording debut in 1950 with the Tommy Tucker Orchestra and Don Brown. In 1953, she made her first television appearance and she met her future husband, Steve Lawrence, on the, uh, when they were booked together on The Tonight Show. She met uh, her husband, Steve Lawrence, at that time. And that, uh, The Tonight Show was hosted at that time by Steve Allen. Uh, Edie Gourmet and Lawrence were married in Las Vegas in 1957. They became famous on stage for their banter, which usually involved tart yet affectionate sometimes body references to their married life which remained a feature of their live act. In 1960 they were awarded, both of them as an act were awarded a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame and that was in 1960. So Edie and her husband Steve appeared numerous times on TV including 13 appearances on the Carol Burnett show, as well as The Nanny. She gained crossover success in Latin music. She spoke Spanish, so she, she sung uh, some Latin Spanish uh, songs too. So she, she made crossover success in that, uh, in that genre, the Latin music market, internationally through a series of albums that she made in Spanish with the famed trio Los Pen Panchos. In 1995, Steve and Edie were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, winning the Sammy Kahn Lifetime Achievement Award. I'm sorry, I'm looking off these notes here. Uh, at that time when she was inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, Frank Sinatra said of both of them that Steve and Edie represent all that is good about performers and the interpretation of a song. They are the best. As the 21st century arrived, the couple announced their plans to cut back on their touring, launching a One More for the Road tour in 2002. In 2006, Gourmet became a, a blogger, posting occasional messages on her official website. 
in November 2009 after his wife retired, Lawrence, Steve Lawrence, her husband, embarked on a solo musical tour. They had two sons together, Steve and Edie did. Uh, David and Michael. Michael died uh, suddenly at the age of 23 from ventricular fibrillation resulting from an undiagnosed heart condition. And following their son's death, uh, Steve and Edie took a, a year off from their touring schedule to uh, mourn the loss. Uh, Edie Gourmet died on August the 10th, 2013, six days before her 85th birthday and that was in Las Vegas. Uh, following a brief undisclosed illness, her husband Steve was at her bedside along with their surviving son David. Uh, she was interred in Los Angeles, California. Following his wife's death, Edie, following his wife's death, uh, Steve Lawrence issued a statement in which he paid tribute to her. And he said, and I quote, Edie has been my partner on stage and in my life for more than 55 years. I fell in love with her the moment I saw her and even more the first time I heard her sing. Even more the first time when I heard her sing. While my personal loss is unimaginable, the world has lost one of the greatest pop vocalists of all time. So that's Edie Gourmet. It's a quick video. But again, this is a 12 inch record. So be careful when you, when you look for these on eBay or wherever you look for them. If you want to get a screen accurate, make sure you get the 12 inch. Cause I have seen some of them in 10 inch records too, but these are the 12 inch records. So that's that, Edie Gourmet. This is the record and it's in Back to the Future part one in Lou's Cafe. And that's all I have. Enjoy your week. Enjoy the rest of uh, July. Hope you're having a great summer. And don't forget to like and subscribe right down below and make any comments. If you'd like to see a review or something talked about in a future video, please let me know. I will respond to them. So that's it. Thank you and have a great week. Goodbye. Hello and thank you for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. Please like the video right down below with a thumbs up and make a comment. I do respond to comments and subscribe to this channel if you're not already a subscriber and tell your friends and family about Future Finds. And remember, your collection is whatever you make it. So make it a good one, all of you. Thank you and we'll see you again soon.